the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the question is, where the hell did that guy come from? Anybody can tell me, please? Nambia. Africa. Well, how do you get the two titles? Well, you know what? He he. Uh, he somebody. Well, that, that shows you the, the levels. Since you, since you be I, I actually oh, yeah, know that's good. He that's beat, good. That's good. He beat the the two fights prior to Terence. He was an underdog and he knocked both guys out. Oh, one in Russia and one yeah. in England. And he was supposed okay. to lose both those fights. Okay, but so that shows you the level that Terence is at yeah. to be able to knock him out the way yeah. he did. No, yeah, but my question is this: mm -hmm. you probably be able to answer because I'm a man. see. I learn every day, so I take yeah. advice and I listen. But every time all these titles come from Europe, why? From Europe? Every time they bring titles over guys that we don't know, they always got the IBM, the mm -hmm. WBO, the WBC. No, we're not WBC too much. But they be having a WBO, IBF, WBA. How, why they always get them over there? Another question I'm going to ask you. You might be able to answer this one. Why American fighters can't go to Europe and get exposed like they're getting exposed over here, Europeans? What do you mean? Like, well, we can't get that started out there. Ah, Make you a superstar. Well, it's a bigger sport worldwide than it is in the U.S. I so out there, no, but you, no, no, no. Bigger sport is, 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 is football. So, well, that's the biggest yeah. sport. Yeah. But exactly. it's, boxing is a bigger sport overseas than here. Because so, here it's, so it's football, baseball, basketball. Then are the big three. No. And then hockey. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. why. Then the MMA. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so I think they're... Yeah. they're I don't know, it's a different... Yeah, you're right, you, yeah. Make, you make sense. Yeah, yeah it's a different, okay. like, uh, acceptance towards it. Well, you're like right, it. they respect it like a big sport. Yeah, they, there right. you go, yeah, yeah. Right here, they don't respect it like no, a big sport. No, you're right, because they, they should, put, yeah. but they, they don't. Put, they put 40,000 people in an arena. Yeah. You're right, you're yeah. Right. You, you, you clear that for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. You told me something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are now taking over MMA world no, now. No, you're right. See, they, yeah, they're doing the same thing. Yeah, because MMA now. You're seeing more boxers going to MMA. MMA trying to go to boxing. Like, but I understand, bro, how, how boxing get left in the cold. Like, it, it so hurts me because I'm a boxing fan. Yeah. I love boxing. Me too. It hurts Like, I love it. And every time yeah, I see I'm that, fan, yeah. it hurts me so much because I'll be like, how oh, these guys are great athletes. These guys work hard. These guys sacrifice. These guys put it on the bucket. And then these guys, half of these guys walk away with nothing. I've seen guys bring guys from Puerto Rico. I'll give you an example. I've seen top trainers. Bring opponents from Puerto Rico into the smoker show. They call it smoker show. Yeah, I know what smoker you know, shows are. Yeah. And I said, I say to myself, what are these guys making to bring this guy to get knocked out? What is he making? Oh, not a lot. Five hundred bucks. No, but what is he making? Like, what is the trainer making oh. to bring this guy over here? A ticket that's, and a meal? Maybe. See, that's how it is. Or something. To bring somebody to get knocked out. A ticket and a meal is better than having no meal. No, oh. you're right, yeah, but I'm saying, yeah. too, not even the fighters no, it's, it's making the ticket up. and the meal. Yeah, I know, it's messed no, up. I'm not saying the fighter makes the ticket yeah. and the meal, oh. the guy. The, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the opponent. The, fight, yeah. the opponent comes for free. Yeah. Oh, and then you, I, I spoke to guys, man, that want to put tears in my eyes. Yeah. Because I love the sports so much, and mm -hmm. I, I, it wants to put tears in my eyes. I yeah. want to, like, say, I want to hug him and say, bro, get off this business, bro. It's yeah. not for you no more. Like, sluggish. I see and I'll be saying, in, in, how can this guy do this to this kid? Uh, well, you see that like in TJ fights in TJ where they're just, you know, grabbing no. guys are two and twenty-two, and you're just like, no, you're right. But the thing why is, are you doing no, that? But, yeah. yeah, but the thing is, it's, 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 it, it starts here in the gym. Mm -hmm. You got to protect the fighter because every time, every time you spar is a fight. Yeah. People think when you spar, that's another fight under the belt. Like for you to make a champ, you got to take him. It's like a rooster. Mm -hmm. You take care of the rooster. Yeah. A fighting rooster. You feed them good. You put them in a cage. You don't. You don't let them fight all the time. Mm -hmm. You let them fight when it's time to yeah. make money. That's how you take care of human. Mm -hmm. That's why you see Danny. I take care of him, bro. He don't have gym wars, none of that shit. I don't put him in none of that shit. There's nothing to that. Mm -hmm. I take care of him, bro. I make sure that he's ready to fight. I don't do all that extra shit, sparring, and every time somebody walking through the through the gym looking for 160, I say, glove up. People do that, they, they, they don't know shit, bro. Now, you know, to us, the one thing I can't understand is the fighter, bro. When they walking around, they no future. When I, when Danny was young, people used to wrap their hands around me like an octopus. Yeah. And I tell me, and I used to act dumb, like I ain't know shit about the business. So they could tell me, and I would see where you stand at. And then I, they tell me, oh yeah, I live over there, bro. I say, oh yeah. Oh, I'm having this big party tomorrow, I'm gonna be there. 
I go to a big party, big pool, big party, big meals. And then I say, who you, who you mad? You got no train, whatever. The boy, I go over there and talk to the boy on the sneak. Excuse me, what's going on? How you doing? Where you live? Oh, I still live in here. still live in the hood? From 20 years ago? Yeah. Oh, what you drive? Toyota over there? And, oh, so I know where the money went at now. But that, that, yeah, it, yeah, it's a shame. That's why boxing need one owner. Like MMA, yeah. Banner might not be paying. That's his name, Banner. What? Dana, what? Yeah. Banner. He might not be paying his guys a lot of money, not millions, but they make hundreds of thousands. But they all doing good because he takes it to another page. If you good and you can fight, even if you got ten losses, and you still can sell tickets, he's gonna make you start. You're gonna be in commercials. You're gonna be in Hollywood. You're gonna be in late night shows. That's the difference. It's an after job. It's an after job. I see reality shows like like um like I see shows like um like um let's say um this is a guy that does a show. I forgot the name of MMA guy. I forgot the name of the show he does. He has online. Huh? Is it online? No, no, it's on TV. It's on TV. Yeah, but I forgot the, the show he does. Oh, the robots. You know the computer robots? Oh, the fighting robots. Yeah, oh, well, he's, he's like a judge on there, like oh, an announcer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MMA guy. Kenny Florian. I yeah, like yeah. that. See? Yeah. He has an after job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Why couldn't that have been a box? True. Yeah. Because because too many hands in the cookie jar. It's got to be one guy controlling everything. It might sound cruel. It might sound like some nut ass shit, but it's real. Be and then you gotta have a guideline. You gotta have a guideline for an opponent to make money. You gotta have, because all these promoters, especially smokers, show, they have the guy selling tickets. Mm -hmm. They have the fighter selling tickets. Everybody sell tickets. The promoter stuff his pocket, get all the sponsor money. And the guy fights for free just to get a W. And then you gotta pay for the opponent's purse. Why? I gotta sell tickets for him. You pay him. It's your show. If you can't do shows, don't do none. Is that very common? Yes, it's very common. Now everybody, there's so many secrets in boxing. Mm. It's secrets. Everybody's secrets. Yeah. So if you know how to make me better, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. yeah, they do that all the time. They have guys coming from and make no money, fight for zero balance. That shit ain't cool. You get punched in the face, you should have a guideline for that shit. One well, fighter can make at least 2,000 guaranteed out. Or a motherfucker will make 2,000 tell the guy they only gave me 300. Mm. Shit like that, man. Peon, it's a peon guy to do that shit. That's why a lot of guys, you can work, work, work all your life. You, if you're selfish and you're greedy and you're ambitious for money, you'll never proceed. Because that's how God works. When you're ambitious for money, you love money, you never proceed. You work, 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 work hard and never have nothing. I think Quincy Jones said when you You start can't love money. money. You, you need money for comfort. You can't love money. Only whores love money. Mm. Yeah. A man can't love money. You got you need it for comfort to yeah. live good, mm -hmm. but you can't fall in love with money. Yeah. Because when you fall in love with money, you never have none. Yeah. You work all your life for zero, nothing. You be fifty, you still have a house. Excuse me. Where you go? Tomorrow, if you're gonna come, just come. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes. YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late, and with net neutrality. Uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace. In the game,